Boy's the sweetest dog in the world. She goes to work with me. She works out with me. The vet told us she was getting older and I just didn't want to lose her. So my husband got me a Christmas present, Chloe's genetic twin. This is Zoe. We worked with Viagen Pets and they couldn't have been better. They were always responsive, always caring. I love Zoe so much and I'm glad to know my bond with Chloe will continue. Contact us today to learn how you can preserve your pet. Viagen Pets, love that lasts forever. Viagen Pets is, uh, for now at least, the only company available to ordinary Americans who are looking to clone their cat or dog. And the question is, guilty or not guilty? Would you do it? Are you even tempted by it? And I, I think this is super fascinating and it's not an easy answer if you ask me. So Kelly Anderson is a, dr a dog trainer from Austin and uh, she is a happy customer of Viagen. Apparently uh, Chai's body had not yet turned cold when Anderson remembered a conversation with her roommate about the Texas based company uh, Viagen Pets. One of just a few companies worldwide that clones pets. The next morning she called them. Some $25,000 and five years later, Anderson, a 35 year old dog trainer from Austin, has a six month old carbon copy of Chai curled up in her lap. So the clone is named Belle. It's nearly identical to Chai, but it's identical to Chai physically. Not personality wise, not habit wise. They share some similarities when it comes to habits and personality. But at the end of the day, all they're really sharing or carrying is the same genetic material. They're not the same animal. And so um, I can get into how the process works, except who cares? Uh, what's really interesting here is is this something that consumers are willing to shell out the money for? More importantly, Waz, as a relatively new uh, cat owner, would you be willing to clone your cat? No, it's just it seems like a stupid expense to me. And you know, I I I, I, I like I look at this like I look I would look at a relationship with a person. Like if we break up, I'll be able to fall in love with another woman again. Damn. Like, I'll damn. Be to, cool, like, but it, it's fine. Like, sure, I'll be sad in the immediate aftermath, and you know, I'll skip a few meals, and I might break down in the shower one day thinking about what <laughs> used to be. But eventually, I'm gonna meet another chick and I'm gonna fall in love with her. Same goes for a cat. Like, as much as I love Mimi, this is the best thing that I've ever done. She's great. She's a great companion. I could I could fall in love with another cat, and I, it's it's like I feel like my capacity to connect with others is such that I'm not too worried that oh my god, will I ever find another cat to love? That's ridiculous, God. Like that's ridiculous. <laughs> Listen, I, I uh, look. I, I think we have the capacity to love other pets, no doubt. I'm. I don't you know. I clone don't, your dog, don't you? <laughs> mm, don't oh judge God. me. He's a beauty boy. Oh I love him so much. <laughs> He's so perfect. Okay, look at how perfect he is. Uh, so stop perfect. It, stop it, stop. He's the baby boy. Stop, stop He's a ba He's my little prince. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right. There are more details to the story, including the costs associated with doing this. We'll get into it in oh just a second. Goodness. But it's funny because Charlie is a rescue, right? Like we notably did not want to like spend thousands of dollars for a dog that was like part of some business where they breed like we didn't want to do that. We knew that there were dogs that need homes. And so we specifically went to like a dog adoption event and I picked Charlie out. And so obviously he's not a purebred anything, he's mixed. But he's such a unique mix that like I, I want, first of all, I want him to live forever, obviously. But more importantly, like I want I want my next dog to be just like <laughs> like he's just he's so perfect. Like I Oh man. Like he's a mini poodle terrier mix. And the terriers included are Pomeranian, Chihuahua, Cocker Spaniel. Like, how do I replicate that? 
I've been thinking about it for some time. Easy, 25 I, G's. Okay, so let's get to the cost, okay? Um, so it does cost quite a bit. Uh, Viagen Pets clones dogs for $50,000, so double the price that you just mentioned. And cats for $35,000. For those still undecided, the company also offers to store and preserve pet cells for $1,600, an amount that is included in the total cloning cost. So if you want to preserve the you know, genetic material, and then later you pull the trigger and you want to clone your pet, you can do that. And the $1,600 is, you know, it's uh, contributed to the overall cost of the uh, procedure or the cloning process. Um, Roberto Novo sold a prized Andy Warhol <laughs> butterfly silkscreen. He had purchased from a hairstyling client and Warhol friend years prior. John Mendola, a former policeman based on Long Island, also traded his Lexus for a Chevy pickup truck to help pay to clone his Shih Tzu uh, Lhasa Mix princess. So, like, people are are you know they're making arrangements to to come up with the funds necessary to pay for this. Uh, so, I just wanted to give you some examples. But look, uh, there are people who. Uh, are looking down at this. Do, do not think this is a good idea because, to be fair, there are lots of pets out there, that lots need of dogs homes. that need homes. So I get it. Yeah. Uh, that said, uh, if I had the money, I would probably clone Charlie. I'm just being. <laughs> you guys can hate me and judge me for it, but like, I mean, you and, guys, saw, you saw how perfect he is. And, like, and look, my cat is super social in a way that is not really normal for cats. Like, my cat wants to hang out. My cat wants to cuddle. My cat doesn't like run to, run underneath the couch when people come over. Like, it's a great cat. But like I said, um, if I had to, I'd get another one, and it would be perfectly fine. <laughs> All right, well, we want to ask you guys, go to tyt.com slash polls, take part in the poll. We want to ask you, would you get your pet cloned if you could afford it? Yes or no? And I think this one, I really don't know how the audience is going to weigh in. Um, I'm I'm going to predict that I'm the bad guy and Waz is the good guy. Uh, but those people are wrong. I think Waz is the bad guy. I think Waz doesn't uh, sufficiently love his pet. And uh, <laughs> there should be there should be a full blown investigation. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the scale for love starts at would you be willing to clone me? <laughs> you know what? People should put that in their marriage vows that like till death do us part unless something tragically happens, in which case I'll clone your ass so I can marry you again. That would be <laughs> That's actually a suit. Like, I mean, do we really want to open that Pandora's box? Like, hey. I would venture to say most people would not clone their spouses. Well, but I could well, be wrong. You know I, like, I, I love though? my husband. I'm not saying anything about my relationship, but it's like, it's weird because it's not your partner. <laughs> it's like, a, it's it looks like your partner, but it's a completely different person with a different personality, you know? You know what I would say though is that um, we're already experimenting with cloning. Have you been on Instagram lately? Like these women that look exactly like Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian, those ain't clones. I, I don't know what I don't know what the hell is. We're already there, Anna. I'm telling we you, we are. We are. They go to Doctor Miami and say, "Let me get the number six special," and they all do the same. They all look exactly the same. It's insane. It really is, it really is. Well, I mean, look, if women are told over and over again that this is what a, the perfect woman looks like, it ends up seeping into their minds and they think that that's what they need to do. They need to go get the procedures to look exactly like that person to be considered attractive. Like it's actually kind of tragic. Um, but yeah, you're right. It has been a, a widespread practice already. It's just a different method of, of cloning, you know, a little less, Scientific, I guess, and more um, procedural, <laughs> plastic surgery procedural. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.